I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Monday today, 6.57. I need to go into the gym. As you guys would have seen in my previous weekly vlog, I wasn't feeling the best at the end of it. So I kind of took the weekend off vlogging. And it was actually really, really nice to just kind of relax and not worry about filming everything. So I'm filming... <laughs> I'm feeling nice and rejuvenated, excited for a new week. I kind of woke up feeling a bit confused this morning. You know when you wake up and you're like, is it the weekend? Is it, what day is it? That was me, so a little bit disheveled. I, I've had some Oxy Shred this morning. Um, I did a dry scoop, which I've never done that before. Um, and I'm late. I've been late a lot lately and I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not a late person, so let's do this fam. I've also got some nails on today. Um, I've got these like chocolate brown ones which are quite long I forget how long like i make them and i'm just like well i'll chat to you after oh we that was a very good session i am dripping in sweat oh my gosh and i forgot my apple watch i haven't done that in ages because it's usually the first thing i put on in the morning but it fell off my bedside table um and it was on the floor so i didn't like pick it up silly me so I don't know what we just did. Sometimes when it's the beginning of the week, like a Monday in particular, at the beginning of the session, I'm like not feeling it. And then by the time, like say if there's three laps, by the time we get to like the second or like halfway through the second lap, I'm like ready to go and buzzing. My adrenaline is like pumping. I'm like, yes. But yeah, I'll touch you guys at home. I'm gonna wash my hair today because it's so sweaty. Even though I'm getting it done tomorrow, I don't wanna go into the hair salon with sweaty ass hair. Even though I know they probably don't care. Are you coming this way, sir? No, all right. I'll chat to you at home. Okay, so I'm back home now. It's 9.45. I've just done a little bit of editing, got myself sorted. My nails kind of match my top. This is like one of those Stax tees. I get a few questions. It's just one that, it was like one of their full length tees and I cut it, probably cut it a bit too short. You know when you do that and you're like, damn. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna blow dry my hair. I've gotten a few questions asking whether I like the birds today or off their rocker. I've gotten a few questions regarding the like hairbrush, blow dry brush thingy, and I do really like it. I think it's definitely really fast. I I just, I can't for the life of me. I think I need to get some rollers for my bangs. That's probably what I should do. I want to be able to style my fringe better. Granted, I do need to get it cut. Like I haven't gotten my hair done in a while. Like when was, like how long ago was it? It was a while ago. My hair's grown quite a lot. Um, and like tomorrow when I get my hair done, I probably won't get too much done. I feel like we won't have time because I was thinking about it. I was like, I need to drive into the city, like in West End where my hair salon is, which is about an hour from me. My appointment's at nine. Like my hair normally takes between four and five hours, depending on how much we do to it. Say we did even four hours that's 9 10 11 12 1 an hour to get home to and then i we have to drive down the coast and i just don't want to be rushing so i think we might like just pop a toner on it or maybe like a couple foils just so hopefully i can be out of there by like maybe 11 then i'm home by about 12 ish and then we can have plenty of time to get down the coast and get ready for the event tomorrow and then maybe in like january i get like a full head of foils or something because yeah, my roots are coming through looking like a brunette. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna blow down my hair now. I wasn't going to, but I have some content, I think, I wanna get done today. I also got some hair extensions in from Hey Stacy Hair. I've never used hair extensions before, primarily because, I don't know, I always was under the impression that like extensions were for thickness and length. Like I always had really long hair, so I didn't need the length and I've got really thick hair, so I don't need the thickness either. Um, I think it could be fun to like play around and like make my hair a bit longer. So I got it in ones from Hey Stacy Hair. That's them there. These ones aren't quite the right color. They, I didn't pick the color. They just sent ones that they thought would match. So we're going to exchange it because these ones are just a little bit too icy. I've got more of a warmer blonde, um, but they feel so nice and I'm very excited. These ones are like just a little bit longer than my hair, but it would be so fun to have like, you know, super long ones. So but yeah, we'll see how the other ones go. I'm gonna return these to them and I shouldn't have opened them because I'm silly. I thought they would have matched, like I was trying to like make them work, but they're just a little bit too light for me. So Freya has some extensions and she often pops them in and they look so good. And then yeah, I 
I could even like take them to my hairstylist or hairstylist, hair, hairdresser, get them to tone them like the same color as my hair, which would be quite good. Yeah, but I've never, like it's such a foreign thing to me, hair extensions, because I've just never dived into the world of extensions. But oh my gosh, I put them on and I was like, I feel like I have a mountain of hair on my head right now because I already have such thick hair. So just adding more hair to it is just funny. But yeah, I have very, despite bleaching the crap out of it for many years at this point. I also to toy with the with the idea. I, pro I probably, I'm like, I won't. But I'm always like, should I go brunette? You only have those days where you're like, I think it's the TikToks that I see where people do transformations where they go from blonde to brunette. Like I'm naturally a brunette as most blondes, most blondes are. That's a very generalized statement, but. But then I'm like, no, I feel like blonde is like my color. And like this particular blonde, I feel like it just suits me better. But then I'm like, oh, brunette could like a, a light brown. I don't know. It will happen one day, like one day for sure. Like I'm probably not gonna stay blonde my entire life, but you know, you just like, you're like, oh, Maybe, maybe, maybe. I did it once back in like 2018, I think. I had blonde hair and I dyed it brown and it was so dark. Let me try and find a photo. It went so dark. Granted, it did lighten up as I washed it, but oh my gosh. I'll insert a photo actually. Look how dark my hair is. Like not even that long after it, I wanted to go back to blonde. So that's always the thing, isn't it? You go dark and then you're like, oh, I want to be back to blonde. You always want what you don't have. <laughs> this is my favorite color though that I've been because like for so long when I was blonde, it was a really ashy toned blonde. And then I went and I changed hair salons and they made it warmer. And I was like, oh my gosh, I like, I like the warm so much more than like ashy tone on me personally. Yeah, I'm just looking at brown hair. Like it's nice. I just think I would definitely want to change it back if I did it brown. Santa baby. Um, but yeah, update on like my house kind of thing. It is moving so fast. Like I think they might even lock it up soon. So when you like obviously build a house, they get to a certain point where they have to lock it. Otherwise people will steal stuff from it, like, like lights and stuff. So it's going so quickly and I think they might obviously over the Christmas period, tradies and stuff will stop working and like go on their break. But apparently it's gonna be, last time we asked when it would be done and they said early March. Like it could be earlier than that, who knows? I know I originally said December, November, but like many things in life, we had some delays, I guess. So yeah, and, but there's no rush to be in my house. Like because I'm living at home, I have, I'm very lucky. Like it's not like I have to be out of my house or whatever, so yeah, that's that. Very exciting. I can't get over how fast it goes. Like. Every single day, there's something like massive that's changed. Right, right let's do this. I used to dream of walks in the snow, a kiss underneath a mistletoe. I used to think that I wanted somebody on Christmas. I don't. Memories hang and holiday cheer welcome me back every year. Why would I want to be with someone else wishing I could be here? Oh my gosh, I think I styled my fringe fairly okay. Basically what I did, I did like the round brush thing, like this way, going away from my face. And then I put this in it, like I curled it up and just held it there above the top of my head for like 30 seconds. I probably should have filmed it. But, I mean, it's very like, and it'll calm down like every, um, every minute it'll fall. I really need to get my hair cut, but it feels really smooth after the blow dry, but look how dark my roots are. Okay, I'm gonna make a smoothie now. I'm gonna film some stories as well because I'm working with Naked Harvest on Instagram. So I'm gonna make a, I think I wanna do the chocolate protein powder, um, make a smoothie. The humidity is making my hair so frizzy. It is so disgustingly humid at the moment. Ugh. Like it's currently, what does it say? It says it's 29 degrees but it feels like 33 and the humidity is 69%. Apparently it's gonna storm. There's a 100% chance of storming at 1 p.m. today. Lovely. All right, let me think how am I gonna do this. Stories and vlogging at the same time. My parents are away at the moment, hence why I'm like vlogging in the kitchen and my dad's not gonna be just sitting at his desk. If you guys have seen any of my videos, you probably know. I put cauliflower in my smoothies. So I'm gonna start off with some ice. And then I usually do 130 grams of frozen cauliflower. It 
makes the smoothies so thick and creamy. Then I'm going to add in some banana to this one. Just to make it a little bit more sweet. We'll do about 50 grams. 150 mils of almond milk. 50 grams of some greasy yogurt. Can't even see what I'm doing. And then we're gonna use the chocolate swirl protein powder. I like using these because they are a pea protein because I have a little inkling that I might be breaking out from too much whey. I haven't cut it out, definitely not. Like I still use like my Muscle Nation protein powders and everything, but I've been using these a little bit more just so it's not like every single day I'm having, I'm having whey protein. So these ones are really yum. They have 18 grams per 30 grams of protein. 18 grams of protein per 30 grams serving. So we're gonna do 30 grams. Oh, it smells so good. That's what it looks like. Get a little scooper. And then it's super handy because you can just put the spoon back onto the bag. So it's like that. Okay, that is gonna be the smoothie and then we're gonna blend. Alrighty folks, that smoothie was delicious. Don't get me wrong, I love my parents, but when they're away, I can like do unboxings in the kitchen and it just, I don't know, it's it's nicer. I just prefer to do it here. So we got a package and she's quite large as you can see. Oh, this is from Opoly. Okay. I'm gonna be doing a try and haul with Opoly and the stuff just arrived. Opoly was actually my 21st birthday dress. I'll insert some photos of me here. That was the first time I had ever tried Opoly. It's the only thing that I've ever bought from them. Um, and I bought that with my own money back then, but this time I'm working them with them on a video. So I'm very keen and I loved my dress. It was beautiful, like so, so pretty. Ooh. So these are gonna be some very, very dressy pieces, obviously. Oh my gosh, should we open one? Like just for a sneak peek. The colors, like hopefully we have some events to go to next year. Or I can just be super glam on Christmas day. Oh my God, the color. Let's hope this fits. I got everything in a size six. That looks like it should be all right. It just might be quite risque, but that's all right. Oh my gosh, the color. All right. Very excited for those. But that took oh, quite a long time to arrive. I think just because um, shipping, particularly from the UK, I've noticed from other brands as well, is taking a little bit longer because of coronavirus. So stay tuned for an Opoly haul. But yeah, Opoly will forever be the brand in my head that was like my 21st birthday dress, you know? I just sent away those stories, or I'm sending away those stories. I'm feeling much better today as opposed to how I was feeling last week. I just feel more myself today, um, which is nice. So I think I'm gonna do some editing. It's 12 o'clock now. And then by the time I do that, um, I might make some lunch. I think I'm gonna make like an egg medley. I forgot how much I love making like egg, egg fried rice type of a vibe. So I might film that as well. Um, it's, I don't know if it's gonna storm. Let me check the radar. I sound like a dad every time I say it, like, let me check the radar. I also need to make sure I'm organized for tomorrow because I have been very unorganized lately in terms of just like, like I haven't been. I've, I've, I'm very organized, but in my standards, I feel like I'm unorganized. Now that I'm home and I'm getting a little bit older, I'm not quite ready for moments like these to be over. I don't mean to be selfish, but when I'm I know I'd be missing too much. Yes, I'm not Don't wanna go into his pain. That? <laughs> I put the air conditioner on. <laughs> my food's gonna go cold. That is so funny. Oh my god. All the things I'd have to give If I spend Christmas in love.
Hello guys. So it's now nearly 3 p.m. It's 2.53. Freya and I are on our way because Freya is going to join a gym today. Very exciting. So I've come for moral support just to get out of the house. It is, I've said a million times, it's so muggy um, and I think it's about to storm where we are. So I was going to try and film some Gymshark stories today, but I might, I can't because the lighting is just too dark. Ooh, did you see that lightning? Yeah, so I might try and get some content like while we're at the Airbnb, maybe on Friday, on Wednesday morning. We'll see. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Join the gym. I think I'm gonna stop work for the day. Chill out now. Cocking off. Cocking off. Yeah. Kind of stressed because my weekly vlog hasn't been approved yet, and that's meant to be going up at five. So fingers crossed it does, or it might go up later tonight or on Tuesday. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. It is currently 7.30 a.m. I am on my way to a hair appointment. I've decided that I'm gonna film kind of like a mini vlog or like a dedicated vlog for my trip to the coast, my one day trip with Freya, just because I feel like that'll be a bit fun. I haven't done like a one day vlog like that or like a couple day vlog in a while. So I'm obviously gonna keep doing the weekly vlog, but if you want to see like more in depth from the event and stuff like that, check that video out, which will probably be up before this one. Maybe, we'll see. If it is, I'll have it linked down below and in the cards. So yeah, um, on my way to my hair appointment, I'm wearing like a little, I don't know, like a shirt under a dress, which I haven't done in a while just because I felt a bit exposed. I think I want to see if Eva can get me out by like 11, 11.30. So I can't imagine we're going to do too much to my hair today. Literally won't have time and I don't want to be stressed because I want to like have time to kind of like maybe film some reels of like Freya and I getting ready or TikToks or I just want to have time and not be stressed. There is nothing worse than when you're like getting ready for an event or something like makeup hair and you feel really rushed and everything. So I don't want to do that. Like I want to get photos because half the time we always like run out the door and we don't have time to get photos or whatever so maybe a few foils a haircut probably because i need one and i want to get my fringe cut in shorter that is the plan and then literally gonna drive home and do a lot of driving today drive home and then um pretty much head off straight away to the coast with freya have I even said what I'm doing? It's a beginning boutique event, like on a boat. Very bougie. I always feel a little bit out of place at these things because I'm not a very like influencer type person. Half the time when I get invited to these things, I don't go because I haven't had people to go with. Because yeah, if I didn't have Freya to go with, I probably wouldn't have gone. Hopefully my social anxiety doesn't kick in. I need to just like put on my confidence pants and just fake it till you make it, baby. Yeah, but I will chat to you guys when I'm at Rockstar. By the fire, holding mom's hand. Stay up all night, but wake up at ten. Don't wanna share any time when I'd rather just spend it with them. Now that I'm home and I'm getting a little bit older, I'm not quite ready for moments like these to be over. I don't mean to be selfish, but when the look on my look can help. Okay, I just got done with my hair. I love it. Oh, Brody ended up coming in at the end, so she was able to like style it quickly. So made pretty good timing. I'm like getting a little bit stressed because like I said, I don't like feeling rushed. So I should be home in about 50 minutes and it takes about an hour, an hour and 10 to get down where we are. Pray for me that there's no traffic. Maybe I don't wanna grow up. Cause I know I'd be missing too much. Too much. Yes, I'm not Christmas in love Now that I'm home and my dad looks a little bit older I'll make the most of these moments I own it forever I don't mean to be selfish But when I look around I can't help it Maybe I don't want to grow up Cause I know I'd be missing so much Yes, I'm not Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I'm sorry if you can hear the hot water. Back at the gym, um, I didn't go Tuesday or Wednesday, so I'm very excited for today. Okay, so for pre-workout today, I'm gonna go in with Sweet Strawberry from Naked Harvest. I 
think this is one of my favorites. Blue lemonade, sweet strawberry, and tropical iced tea. I just do three um, teaspoons. And I keep these in the fridge actually. Wearing the Stax Seamless Collection. This is probably my favorite color, I think, the jade. I also need to pop into the supermarket after the gym. What's new? Oh, I glued my nail back on, not straight. I also, last night, I need to leave. What am I doing? Hang on, I'll talk to you in the- I sleep between you it's nothing. Hello guys, happy Thursday, 6.47 a.m. So, I just saw people in the last F45 class. Wow, that was a, why was that so hard for me to say? The last F45 class. I look like a bug right now. So there's running at the end of this class. Oh God. Changed my phone case today. But what I was saying before last night, um, I made a purchase for myself, a bit of a Christmas present, if you will, an early Christmas present for myself. It's very materialistic. I'm not going to say what it is until it arrives, but I just thought, you know, I've worked really, really hard this year. I haven't bought myself a gift like this, like something really special. And for me, these types of things are like symbols of achievement. That's just me personally. I know it's not for everyone. So like, for example, like this bag, it's a symbol of achievement in my mind. That's how I I view it like and my other like um more expensive bags if you will like i think i hit a certain number so i bought one of them they're just like little trophies for me and i think that's totally fine like obviously each their own um everyone's not into materialistic things that's perfectly fine but i made a purchase last night of some jewelry pieces that i've wanted for a while um and i'm very very excited for them to arrive but yeah i just was like you know what i worked really hard yes i could be spending this money on more important things or saving it but like i think it's all right to treat yourself once in a while so I'm gonna head in now it's 6 50 a.m. hopefully we can do a little bit of filming today and then afterwards I need to go to the supermarket and get some stuff Stand it. you and me we staying out so late spending all the money that we make auntie vodka and big lemonade we go hard at making big mistakes Say we're bad for each other, but they don't know us. They don't know us. Ride or die, we don't stick together. Ain't nobody else just like us. Yeah, I know we're fucked up, but we're fucking amazing. session that was kind of like higher higher paced my brain this morning like I kept if you do F45 you know how like you move around the pods and everything like I kept going to the wrong number and the owner Stacy had to be like yo what are you doing you're here and I'm just like my brain is just, it's just not working today so that's great but it's a good session we did 209 active 257 total calories and then we went for a run at the end Ooh I'm definitely getting stronger. For a while there, I was very like staying the same weight, but I'm trying to kind of increase now. I'm, I'm trying to like build up my lower body, like my bum and stuff again, um, which I have definitely noticed an improvement for a while there. When I was doing a lot of cardio, my ass was just kind of like, goodbye. Um, but now it's kind of, it's peeking its head back through. Cause I think my upper body develops quite easily. I swear it's from doing gymnastics. I'm trying to go heavier on my like deadlift squats all that jazz. I'm gonna head into Woolies now and then I'm gonna have a kind of a content day today with Instagram. Let's get some food. Okay, grocery haul time. Why can I not angle my camera right? Here's what I picked up. I accidentally, well not accidentally, but I bought like the really expensive ham for no reason. So here we go. See if you can guess. We got some pizza bases. That's my phone and water bottle. 
got some blueberries. I got the big pack because I don't know why I've never bought this before. I eat blueberries all the time. And bananas. And some ham. I don't know whether I should continue making my protein pancakes on camera for you guys because you've seen them a million times. But in case you haven't, okay, my cat is just scoffing down her food and she's probably gonna vomit it up. She's like really, really old. Bless her soul. Stunning. If I spend Christmas in love, think about another guy. I've gotten most of what I wanted to get done today done. Tomorrow I'm gonna have to get a couple things done as well. But we've gotten a package from Hideaway. Um, I put on some of that Bondi Sands like one day tan stuff and I'm, I need to have a shower and wash it off because I didn't like do my back. <laughs> so I'm so happy I got my fringe cut in shorter. It just sits better. Like when I want to have it like this kind of thing, like low key in my eyes, which I don't, surprisingly is not that annoying. So we have pink candy body set bray. Oh my God, my brain's asleep. I need caffeine. Well, I don't need caffeine, but I want caffeine. And then a pink sugar whipped soap. So I'm getting confused. All right. I have a feeling this is going to smell very sweet. Pink candy. Ooh. That smells like um, my room diffuser that I have. Then we have pink sugar whipped soap. Ooh, very sweet. We have a stock up of vanilla caramel body oil, vanilla caramel whipped soap, paradiso body custard. I go through the body custards so fast because they're incredible for keeping my tan on. Ooh, it smells very tropical. I love the packaging of that one. This is, oh, Watermelon Crush Soothing Aloe Vera Gel. Interesting. That's, oh, smells exactly how you'd think. Watermelon. Stunning. Oh, that's good. Especially for the summertime, um, if you get sunburned a lot. I'm pretty good with not getting sunburned because I am so fair naturally. I'm very pedantic about putting sunscreen on and not getting too much sun. Pink candy, body custard. Um, vanilla caramel body custard because I'm almost out of my current one. Okay, and that is everything in the box. I love the spray. These are perfect for the gym, like in the morning when I want to go and I just want to one, two, one, two, just to smell nice. I think I have one in my car. Like I can just pop it on if I need to go to the supermarket and I don't want to stink, which I don't generally stink, but you know what I mean. You get my trip. Thank you so much, Hideaway. My code with Hideaway, you guys know, is just Connor and that gets you 15% off, I believe. I'm going to have a shower, wash off this pretend tan. Santa, I've been good this year. Make your list and check it twice. I'll leave you an alright. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Oh, gosh. I look a mess. Put my hair back. I just realized, like, I don't know why I washed my hair yesterday. I think because I was trying to film content for Instagram. I may have to wash it again today just because it's Friday and... Yeah, I might have to, I don't know, we'll see how we go. It might just need some dry shampoo, but it's 6.57 a.m. I tanned last night, if you can see, and I used the Bondi Sands Aero Ultra Dark. I borrowed Freya's. Freya, if you're watching this, thank you. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just not a Bondi Sands gal. I feel like different tans work better for different people. Let's do this thing. My mum and dad come home today. I might meet my mum at the shops. Maybe. I've just got some like work to send through, but I might do that. I'll have to text her. Hi! Okay, that was a great session. Let me put on my tunes. All right, I'll see you at home. Okay, so it's now just after 11 a.m. I've submitted two stories and like, I'm doing well. Um, so I'm gonna leave in a minute, well, maybe about 15 minutes to go to the shops. So we got in a package though from Beginning Boutique because um, I think by the time you see this weekly vlog, when is the give, I'm doing a giveaway with Beginning Boutique. 
I'll pop info on the screen because I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm doing a giveaway and I don't know, it'll either be live currently or about to go live. So head over to my Instagram if you wanna see how to enter that. But I'm doing, yeah, a clothing giveaway with Beginning Boutique. So I believe I've got the stuff here to like take the photo with. So just leave that to the side. A feeling good. Mm, like I should bend it on, 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 on the neighborhood. Right. Apparently there's like catastrophic weather coming. So that's fun. Um, it just, it pulled down with rain before. Let me check the radar. Let's have a look see. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Cause when you look at the weather app, it's like all next week, 100% chance of rain. Do I want a smoothie? Or do I want a protein bar? Or do I want a coffee? For this episode, mentioned that he was worried about safety. Remember, like the wind, like catching the tarp and blowing it. So. Hey guys. So it's currently. This is. Wait. Let me turn this down. What? Sorry, but. It's currently like. That's not the right. Your car is way off. It's currently quarter past seven. Freya and I are heading off to get some sushi. I've been eating out quite a lot lately. It tis the season. Alrighty, so it is, have I vlogged today? No, it is currently Saturday. It is miserable, miserable weather. It's been so hot all this week and now it's just raining, raining, raining. I've got quite a bit of PR that's accumulated over the past week or so. That is the beginning boutique stuff. That's the giveaway that I showed you yesterday. <laughs> Okay, what to start with? What to start with? No particular order. I'm working with GHD on a YouTube video um, very, very soon, which is so exciting. Which, did anyone realize that GHD stands for Good Hair Day? Because I only learned that like a few months ago. It's one of those moments where you're like, I was today years old when I realized that. Good hair day. Of course it stands for something. So we have the GHD Glide Smoothing Hot Brush. GHD is just so nice. Like everything that I've ever used from GHD is just beautiful. Ooh, that's nice. Look at her, wow. So I'm assuming it's kind of like that brush that I got the other day from Amazon. Ooh, she is heavy. And I say that in a good way. My mom's gonna be so excited. It's so like sleek. You know what that reminds me of? The Rapunzel, Barbie Rapunzel, the hairbrush she has, but like not at all because it's black. Very sexy, you know what I mean? And then we also have this, which is the GHD Helios. Helios? Heli, Helios. Professional hair dryer, lighter and faster for an ultimate styling control. I'm pretty sure Brody, who does my hair, and Eva at Rockstar in West End, they use a lot of GHD products because obviously it's like the best. Ooh, ooh, she's a bit cute. I think these are quite lightweight. Ooh, yeah. That'd be so good to um travel with because it wouldn't add a lot of weight to your bag because I'm pretty sure my Dyson is like heavy. Cool. That is from GHD. So exciting. Wow. Thank you so much. So stay tuned for that video. I think I'll be doing like, a, I don't know what video I'll be doing yet. Maybe like a glow up or like a makeup tutorial. I haven't done one of those in a while. So just having some genora. Okay, moving on. We got in from Naked Harvest. I'm so excited and I, I'm definitely going to be trying this today. Naked Harvest have come out with a Christmas cinnamon cookie protein powder. Honestly, I'm not a massive fan of gingerbread, but Christmas cinnamon cookie doesn't mean it's gingerbread. So I'm going to open this now and give her a bit of a smell. I love the Naked Harvest protein powders. I've been having a lot less whey protein and I think it's helping my skin. I still have it, but um, I've just been obsessed with, yeah, with the Naked Harvest protein powders. Ooh, let's give her a bit of a smell. It kind of smells like the vanilla protein powder. 
So I think I'll have to um, try it in a smoothie, but I know Georgie like loves, she's obsessed with it. And then also super exciting, they've come out with a candy cane flavored pre-workout. I've been obsessed with the Naked Harvest pre-workouts because once again, I think I was taking Oxy Shred too much. I still do have it. I feel like you, I just haven't spoken about it for a while because um, I spoke about it so often that I feel like I made you guys sick of it. Well, I didn't want you guys to get sick of it. So I'm like, I want to try this. Okay, smells like nothing. <laughs> Is this rank? Probably. Oh my god. You're kidding. Oh my god. That is incredible. How is that? Oh my god, I need another one. If you think candy cane and thinking, oh no, it's gonna taste like toothpaste, no. That literally tastes like a sweet candy cane. How in God's name have they done that? Oh my God, that's amazing. Like not toothpaste at all. Wow, that's like probably my favorite one. And I haven't even tried it like properly in water. That's exciting. My code with Naked Harvest is Connor and I believe it gets you 15% off. <laughs> then I got in a package from MAC. So we've got a lip gloss. Ooh, oh, that's a pretty color. It's like a very um, mauve shade. We also have a extra dimension foil eyeshadow in the shade Sparktacular. Ooh, that would be such a good inner corner. Ooh, that would be a really nice inner corner highlight. Let me give her a bit of a swatch. Oof, hello. Very like um, icy. We also got this, which is, ooh, a fire lit kit, which has a brush. That looks a bit cutie. We've got a little fan brush. It's a MAC 143 SES brush. Extra dimension skin finish in Soul Glow. Oh my God. That's beautiful. Why am I smelling it? I'm not sure. It also comes with a little bag. I might have to give this as a Christmas gift to someone. That is adorable. Thank you so much, MAC. Then we got in a package from Frank Body. They just said, hey, Kathleen, happy holidays, babe. Now's the time to get dirty. Um, and they just sent along some of staple products. So the anti-drama face mask, the glow face mask, and then their lip balm, which is, by the way, amazing. Thank you so much, Frank Body. Then we got a package in from Rimmel. What are you? Okay. So they sent along some lipstick and lip gloss. I will 100% be giving this to my mum. I have so much makeup at this point. Like, I literally cannot physically use it all. So I love being able to give, you know, it to, like, everyone I know. Obviously, I keep some and use it, but... Because otherwise, it's just... It's humanly impossible for me to use everything. So instead of it going to waste, I would rather give it to other people. Then I got in a beautiful package from Janora. They sent along kind of like a thank you, I guess. Like a Merry Christmas present. They sent along this beautiful painting or drawing of me from one of their staff members at Janora, which is so lovely. Like, wouldn't... Oh, that is who it's by. Oh, thank you so much, Janora. This is absolutely beautiful. Like, I'm going to keep that forever. And then I got a package from Dan Murphy's and I was like, what is this? And it's from Stack. So Donna Matilda sent along a bottle of champagne that was, that's been in the fridge, by the way. That's why it's wet. So yeah, thank you so much, Don and Matilda. That is so cool. It just is like, oh my gosh, I don't deserve this, you know? We're on the home stretch now. My camera's overheating. Give me a sec. Literally, I just got another package in the mail. It's Saturday. What do you mean? Okay, moving on. We have a package from John Frieda. That's the purple shampoo that I use. It's like the John Frieda one, like every third wash or just whenever I like look in the mirror before I have a shower and I'm like, do we need some purple shampoo? Do we need some purple shampoo today? I'll be like, yes or no. So that's how I kind of keep my hair from not turning yellow, but also not being too ashy. This is literally it. It's the Violet Crush for Blondes Intense Purple Shampoo. It smells great too. The one in my shower is broken too because I dropped it. it smells like a man. So what is this? Is this food? <gasps> oh my God, it's food. I got this yesterday. Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> I'm like, that smells really good. Like you could eat it. Oh my God, please tell me. Bro, big brownie. Have I ruined this? Please tell me no. What? My dad's gonna be so excited. 
Oh my God. Surely that's fine. Looks so delicious. <laughs> I just die at me being like, oh, it smells quite nice. I love how it's like storing. Keep in an airtight container for seven days at room temperature. Hang on, let me get a photo of this. Yeah, and then I need to put them in the fridge upstairs. It's 11 11. Oh, my battery is literally dying. Okay. Thank you so much, John Frieda. My dad just had some of it and he was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Freya's probably gonna love that as well. We got in a package from TBH Skincare, which I love their, they have like an acne, what's it called? Like an acne spot treatment. That's really, really good. So if I have like a big breakout, I will use that. My camera's gonna die. We may have to switch to the iPhone. Just fair warning. I believe this is sunscreen. So what's in here? Oh, I love the packaging. That looks so nice. TBH Skin Shady. Skin Shady, that's what it's called. This is what, ooh, that's cool packaging. Skin Shady Face Moisturizer. Let's have a bit of a go. <laughs> ooh, okay. There's something about the square packaging of that. That's very satisfying. Ooh, okay. I put way too much, didn't I? Is this for your face? I don't know. I love the smell of sunscreen because it just makes me think of the beach and everything. Whoop, no white residue, which is nice. Less is not more when it comes to sunscreen. Thank you so much, TBH. And then they sent along this cool, ooh, that's like, what is that? That's like, um, like scuba material. Oh, that's such a good idea because then you can design by Rachel Sarah, Sarah. Not sure how to pronounce that. That's so cool. If that gets wet, like it's not gonna ruin the bag. Thank you so much, TBH. Breakout's killing your vibe. I love that. Last package for this haul. Then we got this bad boy from X50. I love their green tea. This is a fun package. X50 Paradise Mix. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. This is their green tea with Reservatrol limited edition Paradise Mix. Five new flavors, apple berry, cranberry, grape, passion fruit, and raspberry. Can you give those a go? I feel like the best packages are the ones with food in them or like something that I can consume. And then there's also this beautiful shaker in there. I love that. So thank you so much, X50. I think that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, this is not me trying to like brag, but I know there are so many of you guys who genuinely love PR hauls and I do too. I love seeing just like a whole bunch of what's out there and getting launched. And yes, yeah, so thank you so much to everyone who sent me something. It's one of those days where I'm like confused as to what the time is. This is still on my mind. You're on my mind. Now what I'm gonna do, I think, clean up a bit and I'm gonna post a bunch of this on my Instagram stories. Yeah. Okay, so it is now Monday and I'm just editing the weekly vlog. It is currently at 40, well, about, what is it? 42 minutes, I think. So yeah, this is the longest weekly vlog I've ever done. I know so many of you love like a super long vlog, but then there are other people who also love like shorter vlogs. So I definitely wanna incorporate more like kind of how I did that um, beginning boutique vlog. Oh. But yeah, let me know. Do you guys like a long ass vlog? I know I do, but yeah, just checking in. So I didn't vlog anything on Sunday. I just kind of like got some work done. The weather is crap at the moment and it was my brother's birthday yesterday. But yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope you're having a lovely day or night. Ooh, something is flashing on my camera. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Underneath the Christmas lights Carols and bells, none of them help I still feel blue, I just want